Joining us in studio is Nkululego Masego, McCallan Ambassador. Thanks so much, Nkululego, for your time. And now, there's a saying that says mature wine tastes good. Is this the same for your product? Well, for us, I mean, we believe that um, age does matter, but it can never trump taste in terms of uh, the McCallan. Uh, we've created different McCallans over the years. We have two distinct um, types of whiskey that we create. One is fine oak and one is sherry oak. They are different flavors for different palettes of people. And I'd say that because I, I don't know your particular, in fact, palette, I'd say try some of our whiskey and find the one that you would enjoy. Yeah, and I'm a complete novice, by the way, when, when it comes to the subject. But uh, very much interested in the business side of it, particularly on how much we import yeah. uh, whiskey vis-a-vis uh, uh, -vis the uh, uh, exportation thereof. Yeah. For, I mean, for us, we've seen that um, we have been growing, you know, ahead of what um, the decline across the world um, has been has been representing. Uh, and McCallan as a brand, uh, we have not declined at all. Um, and it's good for us to know that um, uh, as big as a brand that we are in the world and the size that we are in, in South Africa is, is a place that we are comfortable with. We believe that our experiences will always be bespoke. Um, and for every other whiskey company that exists as well in South Africa, although our, our industry may be saturated, we are all working hard in terms of how are we communicating to our consumers in order to keep that grow, growth of whiskey in South Africa bigger. Because the more we bring in, the more money we're making generally. Yeah. So what do you attribute your growth to? Well, we, we attribute it to, again, esoteric, really uh, specific um, uh, uh, positioned experiences for our consumers that our consumers can be able to pick up a particular brand and know the history, the heritage, and, and kind of what are the fundamentals of that particular brand. And, and can, can they relate to it and can they stick to it? And is it a brand that they enjoy from a taste point of view? Yeah, but, but why the appeal particularly in emerging markets, uh, in this case in Africa? Well, we've realized that people understand that if you're putting a particular bottle on the table, it communicates um, you know, the kind of person that you are. If you're putting um, a very expensive bottle on a table of whiskey, um, uh, to, be, to be specific, it really communicates the kind of person and what you enjoy and, and, and how you relate to that particular brand. Yeah, but is it for, for the discerning, so to speak? It's an acquired taste and with it, as you say, uh, as a lifestyle, a sense of prestige, uh, that kind of thing. We've, we've realized that people will always consume brands in the, in the relationship that they have, uh, uh, um, have attained either through the years when they were drinking the, the whiskey. But, but we believe that um, we present the whiskeys and allow consumers to enjoy as they like. If, if we position our, our brands correctly in, into the market and consumers can relate their lifestyle, their stature to it, they will, they, they will keep to it. They will go around batching it wherever they, they get opportunity to do it. Yeah, there, there are all sorts of uh, urban legend as to what particular drink does, i.e., you know, red wine, one glass a, a day prescribed by the doctor, etc. Uh, what are the benefits of drinking whiskey? Um, I can never say that there are benefits to drinking whiskey. Whiskey is purely <laughs> for enjoyment. Um, I can say that for different people. So it's people, not for weight loss or anything like that? No, I don't believe it. I can't say it. I'm not allowed to say it, but I can say that whiskey is for enjoyment and that people can have it uh, as they're enjoying, celebrating, and maybe want to forget about some stuff. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but obviously nothing in excess. You, yeah, you also yeah. have a, a, a number of engagements when it comes to whiskey tasting. The, there's a whiskey association I yeah. didn't even know about uh, that, that schools people around the history, as you were saying, and being more knowledgeable about whiskey. Why is that important? Look, my, um, it's important for me to say that my job as a Sub-Saharan Africa brand ambassador is to what we call educate consumers. It's important for consumers to know what is in that bottle, how, how do we make it, um, and why is it important to us that they enjoy it in a, in a particular way. There are societies, groups everywhere who sit and just have whiskey books and go through tons and tons of whiskey just to taste through the whiskeys and to know what is good for their paired profile. So um, we, we go around doing tastings, doing dinners, uh, whiskey and food pairings. We do uh, bespoke experiences that will bring people to our whiskey just for them to try it, and that's all we need, just for them to try it, understand the story, and then keep it. <laughs> yeah, but are you able to differentiate between the various whiskeys if you've had one already or a couple? Well, um, it, it takes a, a person who's been drinking whiskey for a long time to be able to understand that um, he's just been served a McKellen 12 or he's been served uh, X brand, a, you know, a, a different um, kind of line. And it's important for, for us to know that it's really about we have to teach consumers about their particular palate. That's very, very difficult mm. for someone to know that this, these are different whiskeys, they taste different. Uh, we do it through our own, our own range. And it's difficult for people to even go back to a particular range and say, they'll call it the second one that we tasted. I like that one because they remember that particular taste. Oh, okay. So when it's labeled as the uh, single malt, 12 year old or 18 year old, the, the older, uh, is this the, the duration of the processing um, of the whiskey or is this 
particularly on how it's, it's distilled? 100%. What, what we do at McKellen, we use um, ex sherry casks. So those sherry casks, we will mature uh, in those American oak and European oak independently, let's say for 12 years. So they'll mature in, in our wood for 12 years and then we'll marry them after after 12 years. So the age, yes, is important to give us kind of direction of where the, the whiskey is going. But we focus on creating flavor, color, and character of whiskey, and then put an age on it. Because um, if you're putting an age on a bottle, you're saying, what is the youngest cast I use to make that particular bottle? And, and the only reason why an 18-year-old would cost more than a 12 is because it costs more for us to make an 18-year-old. Every year in Scotland, we, we lose 2.5% to evaporation, and then we have to multiply that. And because it's a business, we have to raise up the price. Yeah, and is it uh, a capital intensive uh, a business, especially when you're going into new markets? Very, very, very capital uh, in intensive, but we, we've seen that a lot of companies around the world are investing more money behind their brands, especially in South Africa. A lot of companies are buying out uh, uh, what was previously owned by, by um, uh, South Africans and now are setting up their offices, satellite offices in South Africa, which then means that there is a confidence that they've put behind this country in terms of the growth um, of spirits. All right, so for wine tasting, uh, private wine tasting preferably where where do we get hold of you uh, well uh, you can get hold of me on my instagram on my dm uh, dada masego um, it says michael and brenda ambassador there um, or you can um, give me a shout Hola. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks so much. Nkululego Masego, McCallan Ambassador, talking to us about the business of wine. And that concludes the business of business. We take a quick head break. We'll see you shortly.